chase I need scripts, I need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's the way I need loans with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space Hey sisters, y'all come on check out your history real quick. Come look at this sign real quick. You ain't got nothing better to do right now. Let's go. Hey, so brothers, y'all look at these signs right here. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. What color is Christ? Black. What color is Jesus Christ? Black. According to the Bible. You don't know? What color is Jesus Christ, sir? What color is black? According to the Bible. Alright, good. What about you, sis? What color is Jesus Christ? All right, so give me that. Give me Revelation chapter 1. So right now, we're going to go over what the Christian uh, church teaches you. All through our church, they're going to teach you that Christ... Yeah, give me some more. All throughout the church, they're going to teach you that Christ was a white man. You go into churches, you see the picture of a white Jesus with his hands folded like this, right? You see white Jesus, right? But today, we're going to show you what he looks like according to the Bible. Because the Christian pastor can't tell you what he looks like in the Bible. All right? All right, let's go. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. All right, so, hey, read that again. Read that again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. All right, so it says the revelation of Jesus Christ. The word, the root word of revelation, revelation is to reveal, okay? So what we're going to reveal to you according to the Bible is the depiction of Jesus Christ. Y'all listen carefully. Verse 14. Revelations, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool so it says his head the hairs on his head and the hairs right here on his beard were white all right because he's got they're like gray it's a grayish color so it's white right like wool wool is a texture what people on this earth have woolly hair black people, black people right if you all you take off your hat right now you'll see everyone got that woolly hair you got it too sis we have that woolly hair read it from the top his head and his hairs were white like wool. The black people on this earth have woolly hair like Christ. That's what it's telling you right now. Keep going. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It said his eyes were as a flame of fire. The reason why it said his eyes were red is because there's a prophecy in Genesis that says his eyes will be red with wine. So right. when we drink wine, what happens to our pupils? They turn red. All right, it's making sense now. What was, what was Christ's first miracle? Wine, Turn water into wine. There you go. All right. He wasn't a drunkard. He drunk moderately. Right. All right. Now keep reading. Verse 15. And his feet were like unto fine brass. Read that part again. And his feet were like unto fine brass. It says Christ's feet were like unto fine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass, bro? Brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brown. There you go. Brass is brown, okay? So it said Jesus' feet were brown. So if you didn't have no socks on, your feet would show that you was, you was brown color, right? Now, are your feet the same color as your arms? Are your feet, are your arms the same color as your face? So right there, it's telling you right now that Christ has the face of a of bronze, okay? Keep reading, though. As if they burned in a furnace. It says if they burned in a furnace. So you burn anything, it's going to become dark. So Christ was a dark-skinned man. Right. Jesus Christ, the Messiah of the Bible, is a dark-skinned man. That's right. Understand that, all right? My problem is, why did they teach you he was white, though? Who taught you he was white? The Pope. The Pope? Who else? Any church. Any church you go to, they're teaching that Christ is a white man. But I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to show you who taught you who you was a white man, all right? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're going to show you who taught you this, all right? Give me 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is Moses in the wilderness with the Israelites. He was with us in the wilderness. He's telling us if we don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. Keep going. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. If we don't listen to his commandments and the laws that he's given us, all right, to abide by them, what's going to happen? That all 
all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, we're going to be overtaken by curses. Brother, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing, all right? Let's go to verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now it's telling you that if we don't listen, if the children of Israel do not listen to the voice of the Lord their God, the children will be given to another people. Right there, it tells you right there that we're not equal because it says a whole nother people. All right, read that part again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, brother, I'm going to ask you, when, when, would our, when was our children given unto another people? During slavery. Look at the signs right here. We got these things out here for an image so everybody can see, visualize that thing. All right, so it happened. It happened. What's that? Prison system too. Same thing with the child custody when they take their kids away. All right. Same things happening today, but right here on this sign is telling you that it happened to us back then. Okay. This is a prophecy that was going to happen to us. Keep going. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So it's telling you our kids are going to be given to another people. All right, sis. Sis, come look at this sign right real quick. All right. Read that. Read that verse again. Thirty-two. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So it's telling us that the so-called blacks and Hispanics are going to have their children given to another people. All right. When did that happen to us as a people? Look at this sign right here. Atlantic slave trade. Slave trade. The Atlantic slave trade. All right. No, you go. Just listen to. Pay attention because we're out here for you. All right. We're not out here for everybody. We're out here for the so-called blacks. Hispanics and Native Americans, okay? Right. Because they are the true Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. All right? Now give me verse, um, was it 40, 48? I want to finish it off. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. And when our children are given away, we don't have any might. Why? Because we was in captivity. All right? There's nothing we can do. We don't rule this world. We don't have any power in this world. All right? right. Give me verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48 you know? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies Which the Lord shall send against thee Alright now listen carefully brother He said we're going to serve our enemies Alright So people think we're all equal We're all supposed to be friends on the same level But but God just told us that we have enemies Right. We're going to have enemies in this present day Read that part again Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness so god is going to send these enemies against us because we did what we didn't keep the laws of god right, right. he said we're going to serve them for in hunger any store you go to right now any mcdonald's walmart who owns these corporations well who about who owns this right here he's a, he's a korean right how is it a korean man comes into your neighborhood and has a building that he owns right where's your where's your building at Where's, where's our builders at right here? It's a damn shame, ain't it? How come we can come from another country, set up shop in your hood, take your money, go back to his hood, and don't funnel no, no money back in this community? This place looks like hell. All the places that we live look like hell. You, I bet you you don't see trash on the, on the ground and people smoking and, and getting high on the, on the street corners in their neighborhood, That's do you? Right. You don't see that, do you? But why do they let it, let it happen here? Because they're your enemies. They don't care about you. Right. These people in this building don't care about you. Right. All right. Give me thirst. And in thirst. And in thirst. Do we own? Do we own the water companies, the soda companies, anything, the juices? We don't own none of that. We have to go to our enemies to get that. Right. Give me that. The next one. And in nakedness. Let's get to your clothes. What about your clothing? All right. Your clothing. Do, do you own the textiles, the uh, the raw fabrics to make these things? The companies. We don't own none of this stuff. Right. All right? Yeah, yeah. All right, good. You, you keep going. And in want of all things. And it said in want of all things. Look at this, brother. Look at this right here. Uh, for, for a birth certificate, a death certificate, what is it, a license, passport, whatever you need, you have to go to your enemy to get it. Right. All right? Y'all know what we're teaching? All right, come look at this side real quick. Look at this side real quick. All right, according to your father, what would you be? What would your nationality be? Look on this side right here. Would you be a so-called Negro or a so-called Jamaican, a Haitian, um, a, a Puerto Rican? What would you be, an Indian? What about you? What would you be? What's your father? Is he a black man? So he's probably a so-called Negro, right? 
Okay, what about you, sis? Same thing, Negro. Okay, so me too. So what that means is on this side is the slave, what the slave master calls us, all right? But on this side, this is what your name is according to the Bible. In the Bible, God calls you from the tribe of Judah, all right? Who came from the tribe of Judah? Who came from the tribe of Judah from the Bible? Give me, some, give me a name. Jesus Christ came from the tribe of Judah. King Solomon, King David came from the tribe of Judah. So what that means is the same blood that was running through their bodies is running through your bodies right now to this right. day. What we're here to teach you is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the children of God right. in this Bible with the Israelites. All throughout the Bible, he talks about the children of Israel, my people, the Israelites, my people, the Israelites, the whole way through. And we never knew who we were because we were taught we were Gentiles. We were taught we was less than. But the whole time, we were the greatest thing on this earth. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. My brother, what, where you at on this side? Come here. Come here, bro. Man. Yeah, what's your... All right, cool. I'll get with you. Read this real quick. Everybody, listen. Pay attention to this. Because the Christian church teaches that everybody's equal. They say that all nations are equal. We're supposed to be on the same level, right? We're going to show you in the Bible that's not true. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art and holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God is telling the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you are a special people unto him, okay? Keep going. The Lord thy God. I'm sorry, holy people. The word holy means to be separate and set apart. Keep going. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people. Does it say below all people? Above all people. Does it say equal to all people? What's up, brother? Above all people. Hey, brother, check this out real quick. Listen to this. Keep going. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God said the so-called blacks and Hispanics are above every other nation on the face right. of this earth. And you're not being taught this in your churches. All right? What's the point of going to church if they're going to keep on giving you lies? Right. Shake you down when you come in there. Or you go in there to jump around and spit up and all this crazy stuff. You come out broke. Don't know what you're going to do for the next six days of your life. Come out in heart and heartaches. But your pastor's getting ripped off of you. He doesn't live with you in these neighborhoods, does he? Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.